Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. How are you? For today's video, I have something really exciting to share with you all. So, if you guys have been subscribed to my channel for quite some time, you already know what this is. Yes, I am bringing it back, but if you don't know what this is, let me explain. So, about a year and a half ago is when I started this series on my channel. Um, of course, it was inspired by my Heaven at TJ Maxx video, so you guys know I do go there. I wouldn't say every single day, but I go to TJ and Marshalls a few times a week. I film there, I compile the footage, and I put up my Heaven at TJ Maxx videos on Saturdays. And then a lot of times I will purchase a lot of makeup and skincare goodies from TJ Maxx. So at some point I had the idea to actually calculate all of the makeup and skincare items I purchased from TJ Maxx because I wanted to see how much money I spent at TJ Maxx versus how much money I would have spent at Sephora or Ulta if I would have purchased these products there. So I will go ahead and have my TJ Maxx Marshalls spend things um playlist videos down below in the description box if you guys want to watch previous ones that I've done. So I usually do these videos month to month but since uh, because of quarantine TJ was closed and then TJ didn't have a lot of stuff at some point and then they had a bunch of stuff it just like you know I am definitely backed up so this video might be a bit longer than usual but I'm going to be going through pretty much all of my TJ Maxx and Marshall spendings in regards to makeup, skincare and fragrance. Uh, let you guys know how much it was at TJ or Marshall's and then I will also find the original retail value you and kind of see how much money I spent at TJ for the past few months in comparison to how much I would have spent at Sephora or Ulta if I would have purchased the same exact products. Hopefully all of that made sense. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and get started with the footage. Okay, so here is what we're working with. I put out 21 products in total uh, so that it shouldn't be such a long, long, overwhelming kind of video. So I do have more to go through, but for now we're going to go through this. Um, this is today's Leora right over here. Um, the intro and outro Leora was I think two weeks ago. <laughs> I know I, 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 I've been meaning to get this up for ages now. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. But firstly, if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, I have such solid reels and I just posted a really, really fun one. Look how hot this looks. Also, I did want to say that I recently did my nails. These are SNS powder. Um, love them so far. I mean, I'm not that good with you with long nails, um, but I'm getting used to them. Also, I got a lot of questions on my rings. These are, I think, from H&M or Forever ages ago. They came like in a pack uh, with midi rings and then regular size rings as well. So first up, I have two of these fragrance mists here from um, Kate Spade. I have the In Full Bloom and then Live Colorfully. These are really nice to just randomly spray. They're, they were $9.99 at Marshalls. Which one do I like more? One second here. Okay, I just sprayed both. Lip Colorfully is definitely more my vibe, but in the in full bloom is also really good. I looked for these online and I think that they were either discontinued or limited edition or something like that, but I see like on Mercari and eBay and stuff like that, people are selling it for between 20 and 25. So I'll put them down for like, let's say 20. Where's my notebook? <laughs> You guys know I usually start off this video with my like notebook. I forgot about this. I was like about to write it. I'm like, where am I writing? One second, let me just um, make the little columns. Okay, so we have the TJ Maxx column, which is what I purchased it for at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Regular price is what the original value is. And then item is what the name of the item is. This column should have been here, but it's okay. Next, we have this palette here by Benefit. This is the World O Blushes Little Palette. This was such a cute find, only $16.99 at uh, Marshalls. Here is what the inside looks like. We get Dandelion, Rockator, California, and Hula. And these are more deluxe sizes, but you get tons in each. Okay, so honestly with this one as well, I don't see that it's available online on Sephora or Ulta or anything, but I see it's available on Walmart for the $36.95 price tag, which I don't think that that's how much it was originally. I want to say it was probably maybe... 30 but we'll still put it down for 36.95 because that's the only place i could find it um at next up we have the mark jacobs omega bronze here this was also a super solid find found this at marshall's for 16.99 marshall's has been kicking butt lately i feel like it used to be tj for me but these days it's more marshall's so here's what this beauty looks like and this right here is in the shade tantric such a stunning beautiful bronzer that just performs stunningly on the skin Okay, and then here on Sephora's website, the Tantric Bronzer is $34. It's actually on sale now. Um, they don't have the one of the black packaging. They have it in the white. Um, but yeah, we're going to put it down for $34. Next, we have the Smashbox, the Mindful 5 um, Serum slash Primer. Here's what it looks like. I think I used this like once or twice, and it was pretty good. I definitely want to use it a bit more. This was $17.99 at uh, Marshalls. Just want to show you guys like the cool consistency. So it has like a dropper to it. You take a drop and then apply it on the face of course. <laughs> I 
I just had to do that, it looked too cool. Here you guys can see the Smashbox Primer Serum is available currently on Sephora and it's retailing for 42 bucks. I do also have 17 items in my cart. We'll have to check out one of these days. I don't know, there's some goods that I really want. Next we have this cutie right here from Kaja. It is one of their um, Air Heart uh, lip products. This is in the shade Ride or Die, $3.99 at TJ, um, yeah, $3.99 at Marshalls. Honestly, how beautiful is she? I love the whole heart vibe. And if this is in heaven, I don't know what it is. The texture, the formula is insanely amazing and the color is stunning. So here you guys can see the Kaja Air Light Weight Natural Finish Lipstick is $12 from $17. So we're going to put it down for $12. Most of the shades seem to be sold out like the Rider Dye shade, but there are two that are still available. Okay, next up we have this Lime Crime Lip Blaze. This is a butter plus glaze lip product. It's actually pretty much so heaven, I have to say. This right here was $5.99 at um, Marshalls and I got mine in the shade Clover. I want to say that this is legit the first time <laughs> that a product is cheaper online than it was at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Like, wow. Uh, so these originally were 20 bucks. I guess it didn't do too well and they weren't as popular. So they're on sale for $5 here. So I paid a dollar more or 99 cents more. Next up, we have the Lo-Fi um, Lip Mousse here by Urban Decay. I keep saying that this is like a blush. I don't know. I feel like I might use it for a blush. That's why I keep saying it, you know for a blush kind of thing. Anyway, this was $4.99 at uh, TJ and I got it in the shade Noise. The packaging actually happens to be really cute. You open it up just like that. All right, let's do this one hand, come on. Um, here is what the shade looks like. Okay, so on Urban Decay's website, the Lo-Fi, 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 well, it would have been cooler if it would be cold fly, right? Lo-fi lip mousses are actually on sale for $11. Here you guys can see, but originally it was a, a $22. Um, so you guys can see a pattern here. A lot of the times items that we find at TJ happen to be on sale regularly kind of thing. So that's also a good way to know when something will end up being there. Like like how I speak about it in like my predictions video, that's most of the time how like I know things. <laughs> Goodness, did this make sense? I feel like the English was terrible. Okay, you know what I mean, right? This was such a solid find. I could not believe that I found it there for $6.99. It's the Milk Makeup uh, uh, Melatonin Overnight Lip Mask. I remember when this released to Sephora and I really wanted it, but I'm happy that I just saved my, you know, pretty penny up uh, to get it for this amount. Like, I've been using this here and there. I do like it. I'm not going to say it's my favorite lip mask, but it's nice. Um... It's just in the in the middle there. I mean, it's pretty hydrating, but I've tried other ones that were much better. Very interesting to see that this is not on sale. It's currently $22 on Sephora site. So again, like I said, I do like this, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's the best. If you're looking for a solid lip balm that is worth the money, that's around this price as well. The Laneige ones are amongst my favorites if, in regards to like lip mask, you know? Next up, we have these cuties. These are the MAC um, Glow Play blushes. Such solid finds. The packaging is so cute. I love like the whole ghost vibe. So I'll tell you. One of them was $12.99 and then this one was $5.99 at Marshalls, which I thought was, with TJ, which I thought was pretty cool. So the one on the left, the pink pink one, is in the shade Rosy Does It. It's similar to like the lo-fi blush shade that I purchased from Urban Decay. And then the lighter peachy one is Hev, and it's in the shade Cheer Up. Again, the packaging though also. How beautiful, love it. Very, very interesting. So these are actually not on sale at all. They're $30 on MAC site. And then scrolling down even more actually, I see Nordstrom has it, MAC, yeah, MAC, we just said it, has it, and then Ulta, but yeah, they're all like regularly priced, so 30 bucks. Okay, next up we have the ABH Loose Setting Powder. This was $12.99 at uh, Marshalls. Here's what this baby looks like. It's pretty massive, I have to say. I got mine in the shade Translucent. Not gonna lie, I did not have a chance to use it, so I can't even give you guys any like mini review, but it is on my agenda. Okay, then here you guys can see on Sephora site, this is currently available. They have all the shades in stock, and it is $38. Whoa, I did not realize it was so pricey, but yeah, here you could see Add to Cart. Next, we have the Urban Decay Honey Lip Plumper, so a gloss basically. Um, and this right here was $5.99 at Marshalls. And then here you guys can see on Urban Decay's website, it uh, is currently uh, available for $22. Next, we have the Beauty Bento Kaja um, Eyeshadow Stack. This is so cute. It's in Chocolate Dahlia. It was only $3.99. I'm telling you, my socks were blown off at the store when I saw this thing. I was like, no way! Because these, I think, typically retail for $21. Bigly. So here's pretty much what the stack looks like. Of course, you can kind of um, close it normally. It doesn't have to look this way, but we get this beautiful like glittery shade. Middle one is a mid-tone matte, and then we get this chocolatey brown, but look at how yummy this is. This makes me so happy. Yes. Okay, then here we are on Sephora's site. She is available, $21. All the shades are in stock. 
Next, we have this Marc Jacobs Sequins Glitter Eyeshadow. This is so pretty. It's a gorgeous bronzy shade in Topaz Flash. And you guys can see here, I purchased it for $7.99 at Marshalls. This is currently available on Sephora for $26. Next up, we have one of the Muchi Glow. It's so funny. In Hebrew, Muchi means Muchi means um, kiss. It's so cute. So this is the Bouncy Blendable Highlighter. This was in the shade Prism, and it was only oh, very affordable, two ninety nine. It's actually Russian. I'm thinking. I think Muchi is in Russian. I know a few words. Anyway, here's what it looks like. It's so nice, but it's definitely much more lighter than you would expect. I guess. It's a really light, pinky, champagne-y like, highlighter. I would think it would be great on those natural days or to top over like a highlighter that you already put on. Okay, so on Sephora here, you guys can see it is retailing for $19. Okay, next up I have two of these Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balms. These were $4.99 each at um, TJ Maxx. These are truly so yummy on the lips, so moisturizing and heavenly. Uh, they also have a slight hint color to them, um, but just great to throw on. We have the shade Bubble, which is that reddish tone shade, and the Nug is that nude. Or, okay, and then here on Sephora's website, you guys can see they have all the shades in stock, and these are $16 each. Then I have this Kate Spade Shower Gel. This smells amazing. $9.99 at Marshalls. You guys can see there the train is passing by. And then here's what this beauty looks like. You can also see me with my red shirt on the lid there, but um, I can't find this online. I think it was limited edition or it's maybe sold out. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna put it for 20 because I see people selling it on other places for 20 bucks. Okay, next I have one of the lip colors here by Milk Makeup. This was $5.99. It's such a gorgeous color. It's in the shade Skills, S-K-I-L-L-Z. And this is really, really just outstanding. Okay, on Milk Up, <laughs> Milka. <laughs> on Milk Makeup's website, you guys can see original value 24, but it's actually on sale now for 12, and they do have the shade skills in stock. Okay, and then the last item that I have up for today is this from Milk Makeup. It was $5.99, and this is the Kush Fiber Brow Gel. Okay, so here is what it looks like. It's a drop bit too light, but I still find that it actually works out well for me, and I do like the formula, plus the applicator is pretty good too. Wow, this is $20 currently at the moment on Sephora's site. They do also have most of the shades in stock. Okay, so here are all of the items written down. Of course, now I'm going to calculate the TJ Maxx prices and then the regular price column separately. And then we'll see how much I actually saved and spent, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so here is what we're working with. This is TJ Maxx all calculated. 197.77 is how much I spent in the past few months, I wanna say. Um, if I would've purchased these products at a regular retail store, it would've been 472.95. Now let's see how much I saved. 472.95 minus 197, let me tell you these nails on a level, 77. Yeah, equals, I saved 275.18. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my TJ Maxx uh, spendings and savings for the past few months. Again, this was a bit much, but hopefully I'll be able to do it month to month from now on. We'll see, we'll see. I really had a good time with this one. I think that, um, of course, I did spend a decent amount at TJ and Marshalls for the past few months, but I think I also saved a decent amount as well. I also feel like lately I'm being a bit more conscious in regards to what I'm purchasing. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like in the past I just purchased to purchase because like, the excitement was like unreal. And it's still very exciting, but I'm just, trying not to be like the type that buys every single little thing ever 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 it's okay to have some self-control sometimes you know what i mean so yeah that's pretty much it i'm looking forward to reading your comments down below i hope you guys enjoy this once again and i'll see you guys in my next one bye